okay. Thought it was about time I got out and did a bit more fishing. It's pretty windy, can't get away from this wind. What are you? Windy as. But anyway, I'm gonna try and catch a brim. Or two, hopefully one. Maybe a few, we'll just see how we go. But I wanna show you this creek. It's quite nice, the water level's quite high. There's the creek. Oh, there's one of my rods. Got it sitting on the rod rest there. Just little rods, six pound line is all you need. I like to use a number eight hook. I've even got a keep net. Keep my brim in as I catch them. And of course, some burley. Yeah, it's quite, quite nice down here. Yeah, this wind is a pain. Oh well, it can actually stir the fish off the wind sometimes. It only interferes with a microphone. But anyway, like I say, there's no rules to what rigs you want to use, what hooks you want to use. You learn as you go. But today, you know, the usual rig is a running sinker, as light as possible, even no sinker at all if you can get away with it. But today, I'm gonna have to use a bit of weight because of this wind. But anyway, I'm using the usual Paternoster with a burly spring only, no sinker. That'll be ample weight, especially with a burly in to put it where I want where I want to. But yeah, six pound line. Nice little number eight diatsi hook. Not a huge long shank, but a bit of a long shank. My burly, where's my stick? There's a bit of a stick, but anyway, well, I'll use my finger. I put my water in there, you re be careful not to put too much water in, as you know. Don't want it all sloppy, but that's pretty good. My lovely curry pounder garlic, bran and pollard and breadcrumbs. Stirs them fish up a bit. And maggots for bait. My maggots. It's like I'm pushing my product, but I'm not really. Maggots are really good bait in here, in this creek. Maggots are a good bait for brim, as well as worms and prawns and pilchards. Anyway, I like maggots in here, for sure. Done well on maggots in here. All right, let's put some on. What I like to do, this is optional. I like to actually thread a couple on like a worm. You know, you can push them up the shank like that. Just helps cover that hook. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't matter if they pop, because it's just extra smell. Okay, that's enough on the shank. Right. Now I'm just going to clip some on on the end of the hook. Oh, looking good. Okay, I reckon about four will be fine on the end and there's like a couple up the shank. There's a lovely looking little bait. Okay, I'll do that on both hooks. I really hope I can catch a brim. We're coming up to brim season. It's not far, well it's August the 1st. It's, it's Thursday and it's 21 degrees in Adelaide today. pretty warm for this time of the year but yeah brim season is just about to start you heard the saying when the dandelions start to bloom or the dandelion flowers start to come out them yellow and black flowers 
that's when the bream that's when you fish for bream and when the crow flies south <laughs> not really there. a bit different than beach fishing quite relaxing so I'm gonna start fishing here I've caught brim up here before hopefully we can get a couple I've caught some nice brim up here a few small ones but I've caught a couple around the pound there's another nice bait and my burly bit of burly in there Yeah, you fish, fish whatever, you know, whatever the situation is, is what techniques you use for fishing. This is what I'm doing now. You know, you even change as you go. There we go. The old six pound line. I'm just going to flick him out there. I've only got the, only got the one rod rest so I'll have to lie this one on top of the reeds but I'll flick this one over there I reckon I might only use the one rod at a time but I'll just show you my other rig as well okay this is my other rig on this rod I've actually got a running burly spring between the two swivels something different and a hook below Kind of like a whiting sinker apart from it's a burly spring instead of a little ball sinker and above that swivel I've got another hook you know the, the Paternoster style the snood coming off your main line pretty hard to see I guess because it's you know six pound line bit fine okay so I'll bait this one up the same and I'll flick this one out. I might cast the two rods out, we'll see what it's like, but I might just use one at a time because you know bream have a tendency to swallow your bait. I don't really want to bite any hooks off and leave them down the throat if I can help it. Or I want to really hook them in the lip. Okay, and there's that one ready. Burley's in there. Two baits. Let's flick him in there, see how we go. the other rod as well. Mate, this wind is horrendous. When it's windy it's good to keep your rod tips as close to the water as possible. A bit awkward here where I am, it's a bit slopey. Not the most comfortable spot that's for sure. a bit of a bummer. Had a great run and I blew it. Well at least I know there's some fish there. And I'm just whacking on a heap of maggots. That 
wind is a real pest. Um, a nice bait. You know, I was just thinking about moving. But yeah, you gotta be patient. Bream fishing can be very slow sometimes. Sometimes they can be on. But a lot of time it's a waiting game. But saying that it's very relaxing and all. Okay, nice another nice ball of maggots. Some burly. Right, cast him out. Set your drag. Come on, mighty brim. Wrong guys. <laughs> Keepers. Yeah, that was a good run. <laughs> Look at the neck. Nice little fish and all. There you go. You took them maggots okay. Wow, what a run. Awesome. Hook nice and all. Very happy. Put him in the net. Yes. I should have really brought my landing net. It's a bit iffy lifting it out of the water like that. Anything much bigger would be a bit dodgy, I reckon. <clears throat> I'll put some more maggots on. Well, I'm glad I got one. <laughs> Yay! Mission accomplished. I nearly lost that around that bush. But I didn't. Bunch of maggots. The other baits still not too bad. I'll just put a couple of fresh ones on there. Lovely. A bit more burly in the spring. Cast him out.
go away, wind, making it so awkward. Thought I had a touch straight away then. Maybe a little school has moved into the burley. Would be nice. A nice little mullet. Oh, well, there's one brim and one mullet. Very good. Very dark, isn't he? He's been in here for a while. He's a fat little fish. Yep. Scoff them maggots. Okay, put him in the keep net. A good little run. Get caught on the bush. DMA. <laughs> Nice little bim though. There we go. Lovely. Very dark. Okay, mate, all right. Let's put him in the net. <laughs> that little fish whopped it. Oh. There you go, he swallowed it down as well, unfortunately. Well, just over there seems to be the little hot spot. So I might just go, might just fish with a one rod. Because I really don't want to hook them down deep well, if I can help it okay load some more maggots on there I'm just throwing them on He caught my biggest brim on maggots. It was just over 50 centimeters long, fraction under two kilos. So I'll show you a photo of it, and here it is. There you go, that was a nice fish, wasn't it? It was a beauty. Caught him down in the Kurong. Yep, on a pattern Oster rig on maggots. 
I also caught one three pound ten ounces on maggots the trip before that one as well and I they were actually the last brim I ever ate yes I have eaten brim sacrilege but I'm never gonna eat another brim all brim get thrown back from now on but you can eat brim if you like whatever you choose and I've hooked my net <laughs> I'll just get it off okay well I got it off the net yeah the first the three pound ten ounce brim what I ate tasted absolutely beautiful it's like a little snapper then I caught my biggest one ever and I ate that one and it tasted horrible <laughs> So that was a day I said, I'm never going to eat another brim. But that's my decision. Okay, let's cast this out. I think I'll hold the rod too. That wind's dropped off beautiful. Not going to complain about that. Might be able to move down there soon because I like fishing down there and all and maybe another half an hour might change spots. Here we go. Oh, we're on. <laughs> little take what's oh, nice on this <laughs> nice on this little T curve do they fight good little brim Nicely hooked and all. There we go. He's all right. Nice little guy. Because I was holding the rod, he's hooked lovely. Oh, they're so spiky. Take that hook out, good. Nice. There you go. They're a lovely fish. Yeah, oh, there goes me maggots. Okay, put him in the net. Oh, get in there. Get in there. And I've still got quite a few maggots left on my hook so I'll just top it up with a few more I've stopped sliding them up the shank I'm just yeah like I said just piling them on they're a great bait mate I'm just using my little rod with the straight pad and oster rig My super duper burly. Let my drag. Not too loose, but not too tight, because if you get a real whopper of a brim grabbing it and you strike too hard six pound line goodbye snappo <laughs> alright well there's a bite already that didn't take long
little guy. Good fun. Uh, hooked in nice. Hooked a couple deep, unfortunately, but I've broke the hook off carefully and hopefully they'll be okay. Yep. Little cutie little brim in the net. Well, I think it's very quiet here when I started fishing. I'm pretty sure fish are coming to the burley. Most definitely, because I'm having bites really quick now. This creek isn't tidal either. All it does is run out. When it's not running into the ocean, it just stops. The tide doesn't ever push in up here. But when it's running through to the ocean real good, obviously the brim come in from the sea. I know a couple of people who had, had some good catches of bream off the beach. I caught a bream off the beach, it was that silver, it was dazzling. And I accidentally deleted it off my off my GoPro, off the computer, because I'm such an amateur, but I'm learning. All right, cast out there again. Whoa. We lost him. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little hit, wasn't it? Oh. The bottom maggots, I reckon. Okay. Oh. That felt alright too. Well guys, I cannot believe it. My SD card is full on my GoPro. So I'm hoping this is going to turn out. But I'm going to pull my keep net out and show you what I've caught. A bit awkward with the mobile. There's my net, I'll just pull it out here. I'll pull it out and we'll have a look at the fish and then I'll let them go. That's a bit of a bummer. I was gonna do some filming walking out of here. Just show you a bit more of the creek. But I will, them's the breaks. <laughs> These things happen, okay. Right, I'll pull me net out. Put that there. Oh. Ended up with a few bream. Roll them in there. Wow. actually one good one oh, there you go probably the one what would go legal what have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 bream. Nice catch. Good days fishing. Radio. I'll take a quick photo. Let them all go. Well, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we'll go and do some more fishing somewhere, somewhere else next time. All right, guys. See ya, and I really hope I can upload this on the end of my video.